King Kamehameha III in 1848 saw what was coming as far as the foreigners attempting to influence this idea of land ownership to take control. The Great Mahele, which was where he parceled everything up. There was three types of land. Chief awards granted to those chiefs who held kuleana stewardship and then crown lands which was open to all the people of Hawaii native and non-native tenants and then you have government lands to put you know the buildings up to run run the government and the kingdom it was for the benefit of the people it's in a lodial title which means forever it's just a generational continuation of the stewardship of the land through the course of time we've forgotten about this piece of history and this proof that we hold the clear title to all the lands in Hawaii. These Hawaiians are getting pushed out of these lands for all these different reasons. You got for the certified letter you received in the mail. Why? Did I say that? Did I say that? Ultimately, the water's been lost. Um, they stole the water. Um, and from there, everything else was lost in the process. So the agricultural fields went, the people left, there's no uh, aquaculture, all the fish in the stream are dead, there's nothing to eat from anymore. The loss of the water really meant the loss of the people. Like what Kamalani and Napo is doing today, people have been trying to do them for the past 20 years, you know? Um, so I'm letting the Maui County know that because of the lack of victim protection services, the misreporting by Maui Police Department, and how we have somebody who attempted to shoot our family uh, running free in Maui County right this is now. The truth. This is the point in time where we choose whether we're siding with fake state occupying government, corporate interest that's taking us out. What are we doing right now? Right now we are going to the Ohili Gate, the Pidaki Gate. And, uh, we have a work day today. Zach is the steward of the Peahi area. He's got a lot of challenges on his plate with the land reclamation that's going on there. Okay, so as I explained to Jesse guys earlier, right now, the only thing that can be proven is that this land belongs to a property. Yeah. That's fine. So you guys is... serve notice, you guys go into court for it, and until you get the paperwork saying that you guys have it, the only thing we can enforce is that you guys get out of the way. Ozat Grossman, Ko'o Inoa. I am a Hawaiian national, asserting that these undertakings by the state of Hawaii are unconstitutional under the U.S. Constitution, Article 1, Section 8, and Article 6, Section 2. I am innocent and I surrender as a prisoner of war. You gotta get me one if you get one. Jesse is my cousin. He's about 10 years older than me. My name is Jesse Aka Aka Naka Oka. Um, I come from the east side of Maui. This place is uniquely special because the way the people live their lifestyle over there. That's where I would spend my life by myself. I would spend that, my life by myself out in the jungle, living off the land without nobody there. And I would have to um, be careful for Alexander and Baldwin. So, Papa, look at Alexander and Baldwin was hurting our island, was hurting the people, was hurting um, how I was going to raise my family. I cried. I said I was going back. We didn't know what else to do. We just. It just got auctioned and, you know, it made me want to fight even harder. But in panic mode when 
when you, when you're being threatened that you're gonna get arrested, you know, everybody tends to run. And I know it wasn't easy for my kids either, you know, especially if we did it because we didn't have anywhere to go or to even call ours because what was ours, we had to leave. When they attempted to murder my cousin, that was another um, significant hit. Point that the third party guy comes out, hunts me down to kill me, and he shoots my friend, my farm worker cousin. It wasn't just assault. He didn't punch me. He didn't just kick me. They did that too. He shot me with a gun. He was trying to take the most important thing that my family had, the acreage that they used to access the water so they could steal the water. Corporations who don't hold clear title do not want to actually come and face us in court. So the only thing they can resort to now to avoid an appearance in court is to hire third-party aggressors. Your gate was wide open. Them, Let us out, bro. come and provoke you us. Everybody, if you're not a lessee, you got to leave. Okay. 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 Right. You're attacking me. We're and, not and, attacking and, yes, I'm trying, you. Are. I need to ask specific questions. He got, he got shot in the leg with an AR-15. Yeah. So just and understand. his brother's in the field with a gun. He's what part of that do you not understand? He's got some and do things like shoot my horse, attempt to murder my cousin. Our own stories are not unique. Such stories are happening everywhere, all across the Hawaiian Islands. Treaties have been broken. Our lands have been stolen, our waters have been taken, and sent down pipes to foreign corporate interests. We're fighting for food sovereignty, we're fighting to end the displacement of our people, um, and we're fighting to ultimately unify our people under one government. Under the banner and the coat of arms that King Kamehameha III brought out to the world and thus ensured that the Kingdom of the Hawaiian Islands would forever be recognized as sovereign by the United Nations. It's not like you're getting back on freaking on item that you lend somebody. This is land, man. Land is money. Stop. Fucking. What they're doing is like you gonna end up, you could end up in jail, you know. Everything, all the resources I had in front of me, I never know how important it was. I never, I never really know. I was kind of lost in this kind of, kind of um, defect, the, um, uh, protecting what I had. What we're doing is the most fruitful, righteous thing. So you got my whole heart and soul, my life. I take bullets for this. Kimo Mitchell gave his life. Uncle George Helm gave his life, and we have Kaolave. I am who I am because of Molokai. I am the world champion because I have the best training ground on Molokai. If they take my life and we get back Molokai, then my life is worth it.